Be positive. Think about your three children growing, getting married, having kids of their own. Don't think about the family vacations your husband's next wife will enjoy. Don't picture him remarried with a pretty young thing within two years. Meanwhile, the cancer grew just under my ribcage, giving me an ache below my heart. When the time came to tell my children, I strived for concern, not fear. Despite the dismal survivorship statistics, I wanted my kids to believe that I was going to be fine because I was determined to be fine. I'd stay positive even if it killed me. I was young and extremely healthy, especially if you didn't count stage four ovarian cancer. Our home telephone rang repeatedly. We received flowers, food, cards, and several offers to cook next week's Thanksgiving dinner. I should get sick more often. I faced the children. I'll be back to normal soon enough. I just won't be able to have more children. My 10-year-old Robert smiled. You don't want more children. That's true, but it's a serious operation. But don't worry, your father will make sure I have the best surgeon in the world. Charles, my 13-year-old, said, Get out of here, the best surgeon in the world. Do you expect me to believe that? Besides, you're not even sick. Well, yes, I am. Prove it. I don't look sick, but take my word for it. I'm very, very sick. Come on. I looked at my husband, Bruce. He asked if they wanted to see the CAT scan. My 16-year-old daughter started to cry. Finally, one of my own flesh and blood understood. Frankly, I was pleased that the prospect of losing me affected her. Teenage girls often hate their mothers, but my daughter loved me. The boys were too calm, either in denial or convinced I'd be fine. I suspected the latter because my boys don't shy away from expressing difficult emotions. They've been known to cry when it's their turn to walk the dog. Well, what will you say when some well-meaning person comes up to you and asks, how is your mother? I'll say, she's dying. Give me money. <laughs> Just say, thanks. She's going to be fine. The next day, Bruce and I went to see the best surgeon in the world. Unfortunately, his soonest slot was a month away. I couldn't wait that long. He recommended someone else to perform the surgery sooner, and a thoracic surgeon because the cancer had spread to my lung. I'm hoping my son Robert will be a doctor too someday. How old is he? He's 10. My daughter's in high school. And my middle son, well, he's a comedian. I related what Charles was planning to tell our well-meaning neighbors. <laughs> I liked repeating the punchline because it proved Charles truly believed I'd be fine. Otherwise, he wouldn't joke like that. Well, if you, um, if you don't mind having a lousy Thanksgiving, I can probably get you in the operating room the day before. I thought you couldn't do it. No, I said I don't have a free slot. But nobody wants to be in the hospital over Thanksgiving. Uh, usually the OR isn't available to our team on Wednesdays, but it's open that day if you still want me. Oh, we do. What made you think of that? <laughs> Your wisecracking son hit home. I have three kids just like him. I like to believe my kids, like the ones clapping for Tinkerbell, made a difference. I brag that I'm the poster child for ovarian cancer and the good work of the fine doctors at this fine hospital. The surgery and chemo afterwards is just a memory, like indigestion. The worst part is losing your hair. The rest isn't so terrible. That's what I told a neighbor facing cancer treatment. That New York Met slogan, you gotta believe, still hangs in my office. I focused on the positive, and despite her fears, I encouraged her to do the same. My husband's a basket case. Man. Man. <laughs> but my neighbor never made it out of surgery, and not because she didn't believe. Sadly, with cancer, even the most positive person can have a bad outcome. People don't succumb because of bad attitudes. Negative emotions may even be helpful. Ultimately, though, what difference does our perspective make? That life might be over too soon makes every day, every moment, a joy. I gotta believe that's the way to live, positively. <laughs>